Good morning, Metro Detroit. Welcome to the Walk for Miracle Workers. We're so happy you could join us today, and thank you so much for supporting Beaumont Children's and Children's Miracle Network. We've got a great day. It's beautiful here in Southfield where we're starting. I know you're all starting in remote locations throughout Metro Detroit, some throughout Michigan, and some throughout the, the United States as well. So we're delighted to have more than a thousand walkers joining us today and more than 45 individual walk teams. Thank you so much for your support. We're going to kick off today's walk with a special message from Beaumont CEO and our walk chairman, John Fox. John? Thanks, Tom. Welcome, everyone, to the 2020 Walk for Miracle Workers. Every year, this walk raises tens of thousands of dollars for our pediatric program at Beaumont Children's. This year, we're doing something extra special by adding support for our COVID-19 Employee Relief Fund. Our brave healthcare heroes fought on the front lines of this pandemic with courage, and we know how much sacrifice they made personally and financially. This event is a great way to show our support and gratitude for those who need it most. I understand that we are close to reaching our goal of $100,000 in pledges. Thanks to you, these funds will be made available to help so many in need. Remember, the team that raises the most money will receive a $10,000 award to use towards the program of their choice. Thanks again to all of you and your heartfelt support. Have fun and stay safe out there today. Now back to you, Tom. Thanks, John. And we're excited as of about 15 minutes ago, if you can believe it, we actually reached our $100,000 goal. Yay! It's been a fantastic fundraising effort and we're all doing it to help kids and families that come to Beaumont needing care. I'd like to introduce now a very, very special story that happened during COVID times uh, with Jen and Andre Laubach. Let's hear more about them. Thank you, Tom. Uh, my name is Jen Laubach and I have Maxim here. Hi, and I'm Andre and this is Mitchell. Earlier this year, Jen was pregnant with twins, obviously, and um, her water broke eight weeks early. Five minutes after her water broke, we found out that I was um, positive for coronavirus. So I wasn't able to go to the hospital with her. She had to drive herself while in labor. The next day, um, without any family support, Jen delivered these two little guys um, and they were taken away immediately because Jen also had coronavirus. For the first 20 days of our children's lives, they lived in the NICU in Troy Beaumont and we couldn't go visit them because we were still trying to um, fight the virus. So it was the staff and the nurses in the NICU at Troy Beaumont that were there for these kids for the first three weeks of their life. And as hard as that was, it was great to know that they had such great care uh, and, and people that really were supporting us and taking care of them there. Every night we would do a Zoom call with the, with the staff there so that uh, we could actually see the kids and interact with them the best we could. Thankfully, after those three weeks, we were able to um, get these guys back home. And ever since June, we've been uh, a home and a happy and healthy family. Jen? We very much would like to thank the Troy Beaumont NICU staff, um, especially Diane Moskal. She really um, was our advocate for getting us in to meet the boys. So Diane got on the phone with infectious disease and um, really advocated for us, really got some answers and, and got us into the NICU so we were able to meet these guys after three long weeks of not meeting them um, or holding them or seeing them in person. So we just, we are just forever indebted to her and the NICU staff there. And you know, when, when babies are first born, it's so important to them to get skin to skin contact and um, for bonding and, and I wasn't able to give that to them. So just knowing that the nurses were giving them extra hug and care and, and snuggles was really helpful to me and really got me through those three weeks for sure. Um, Today we're walking for my nurse um, who helped me deliver the twins. I was all by myself. I didn't. I couldn't have any family or Andre wasn't able to be with me. Um, her name's Ann Mosheri. She, her and I have a lifelong bond now forever. And I love her so much. She held my hand straight through delivery. She wasn't afraid to touch me or be close to me even though I was COVID positive. Um, and then, uh, 48 hours after I gave birth, I ended up back in the hospital with preeclampsia 
And again, I was there for four days and another nurse there named Paula Schramm um, stayed with me throughout the night for every night I was there and um, she really helped get me through. I felt so isolated and depressed. I, I couldn't have Andre there. I couldn't have any of my family there. I couldn't see the babies. I, I just felt incredibly alone and she really helped get me through that. We chatted, we laughed, we had some good times. Those two women really helped me, really got me through some dark days. Um, and we are walking for them today and for Diane and all of the staff at, at yeah. in the NICU, for sure. Yeah. <sighs> so from the whole Laubach family, thank you, Diane. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Troy Beaumont. And thanks to all of you for participating in today's walk. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Andre. What a great story. Uh, Jen and Andre, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Uh, for those of you who are participating today, that's why we do what we do. We have an amazing, amazing situation with Children's Miracle Network raising funds to help families like the Law Bucks. We couldn't be more grateful for all of your support in the community. And specifically, we have a lot of great sponsors who joined us today as well, too, that provided major funding to help us help these families. I'm going to ask you to, uh, from your location, help me thank them right now. Allrig USA, our presenting sponsor, Credit Union One, MSU College of Osteopathic Medicine, United Healthcare, Our Magazine, Michigan Head and Spine Institute, Huron Capital, and many, many other great, great partners. Now I'd like to introduce my partner, Sarah Gretzer, who will tell you more about how we're going to stay connected today via social media. Sarah? Thanks, Tom. Yes, we are so excited that today is finally here. Thank you to all of the incredible participants. We have two more final contests. Um, we want you to, uh, we want to see how you're staying safe out there. So let us know the most creatively social distance team. Um, and then we also want to know uh, the best and most creative walk route. So make sure you take photos, put it on your social media using the hashtag Beaumont Miracle Workers. Can't wait to see them. Can't wait to see them either. That'll be a lot of fun. Well, and we're about to start our walk in just a few minutes. Uh, but before we do, we want to do a special shout out uh, from the CMN team to a former Children's Miracle Network ambassador, Johnny. Johnny, we're walking today for you. You are our pal. Yeah. And we're delighted to introduce this year's Children's Miracle Network ambassador for the walk, Lexi Zaffirana, who is going to get us ready by doing some fun stretches and start the walk. Over to you, Lexi. Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. I wish we could all be together. The walk has always been a favorite event of mine. As you just heard, I am the CMN ambassador for Beaumont. A few years ago when I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, I was able to have lots of first-hand experience with many of the programs that CMN offers at Beaumont. One of the most important programs that I was able to benefit from was the training program that they have. They were able to train me on how to keep myself healthy and well when I left the hospital. I am so proud to be able to give back to these programs. Thank you so much for joining me and to help give back too. Now let's do a few quick workouts before we go for our walk or run. Let's start out with some forward arm circles. Let's do 15 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Now let's do 15 backward circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, now let's do 20 alternating toe touches. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now let's do 20 lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now let's finish out with some 20 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Continue to stretch if you think you need to, and then please be on your way. Please remember to either wear a mask or to social distance, and please choose a safe path to do your activity on. Thank you so much for joining me today and for supporting Beaumont Children's and Beaumont's COVID-19 Employee Relief Fund. Thank you so much and have a great and amazing day. Have fun. Thanks, Lexi. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your day.